Well, hello guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Okay, so uh, we're going to look at uh, Megan and this curtsy move. Eh? This curtsy move, so uh, at the time when Megan recorded uh, this uh, full on uh, like floor wipe, wasn't it? A floor wipe uh, curtsy. How was she feeling about that at the time? Right, so when she was recording, okay, so not when we watched it, but when she was recording it, uh, she was quite pissed off and unhappy, okay, so that's why she, she did it. Uh, she's been uh, unhappy with uh, the Royals, uh, seemingly getting away uh, with abusing her and everything else for the last uh, 70 years. Um, and yeah, she's just, you know, she was seriously pissed off. And that's why she did it, okay? She was unhappy. Uh, she can't deal with her feelings like a, a normal person. She can't talk things through or write down write down things or go see a therapist or, uh, you know, just sort of like get get to, to grips. So all these little major moves, okay, uh, are about her having a dig. So she was having a, a dig. But I don't see it as being a sword card. I see it as that on that day, her feelings was all, you know, uh, she can't control or sort her feelings. So they get a bit much uh, sometimes. I mean, they do for us, but they certainly do for her. So she has been like, it was one way of showing how she felt uh, about having to bow down uh, to uh, our queen. We know how Harry, Harry felt. It's all about PR, PR, PR. Okay, so now I want to ask is, how did Megan feel when uh, the, you know, suits came up with her curtsy in? you got to remember, she's a weirdo, so she'd uh, love this. She probably, I've got a feeling she planted it herself, you know. <gasps> Uh, just uh, water off a duck's back, uh, in, in bothered about it, forget about it, you know, uh, like she's out of it, so by not by doing nothing, uh, by not commenting, by uh, not feeding it, uh, she's just, you know, she's forgetting about it, she ain't bothered uh, at all, she kind of feels uh, like, uh, you know, uh, this could be a, a spite thing, um, that's why right so she feels like if people are attacking her or actually just saying that we don't like you or you're wrong or we don't like you for this or we don't agree with you you know she just thinks it's a, a full-on uh, attack so now every time something comes up like this she just sees it as a full-on attack and is able to close down and walk away and forget about it you know that's what one of when uh Prince Charles or King Charles III now uh, said about Meghan being tungsten. That is what he meant. You know, she can just uh, close down and go forward. It's as if, you know, I, I would love some of that metal in me. Uh, I think, uh, you know, but she is just like, that's it. Walk away. Walk away. I'm not getting involved with that. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't suit her narrative. But again, she sees it as uh, people coming on the attack. And so she interprets it as that. It's not like, oh, God, Megan, you lied. You know, uh, it's, a, it's an, they're attacking me again, Harry. They're attacking me. Uh, and so it's move on uh, and, and move off. And then, you know, can you imagine uh, with uh, Harry? What did her, uh, Megan say to Harry about the salt scarcity? What was her excuse? It was a work thing. I forgot about it. It was a work thing. I did it once. Oh, my God. It, I did it at work. It didn't do it in front of the Queen. There's a difference, Harry, between doing it on uh, camera and doing it in front of the Queen. That's what she'll have said to him. Okay, so, and it, it worked. <laughs> it worked. It, he'll, he'll have that, you know. He'll, he'll have that. How does Megan feel, uh, you know, about this docuseries that she did? Okay, so uh, let's have a look then. So the Herefant. 
Eight of Pentacles there, darlings. Right, so the Hierophant reversed uh, for me is... She didn't get away with uh, as much as she wanted to. Do you know what? I'm getting a lot of confusion messages. It's like I get, uh, she feels like the, the royal family was in cahoots with uh, other organisations uh, to try and attack uh, the, uh, the media. I've also got that, you know, uh, she's clearly locked herself out of any future events uh, for uh, the monarchy. I get that she didn't trust the uh, staff around her at all. Uh, and now she's she's very paranoid uh, where, what Netflix intentions are, about what everybody's intentions are, because they just give 100%, don't they? And then, uh, you know, we, they can't do anything right, okay? There's loads of uh, sloppy seconds in there, uh, loads of mistakes, loads of new lies that have been unfounded. Um, so it's made like... I feel like she feels locked out uh, by society as well. She didn't realise it. She didn't bank on it. She thought she was going to be in the note and in the star uh, and in the sky. But, you know, a, a name in, in lights uh, at all. Well, only narcissistic lights. So, yeah, I think she's feeling uh, that this could damage her uh, chances uh, with the elite. So, you know, you've been there two years, uh, Megan, and if you can't make a friend now, when can you? How did Megan's staff feel about uh, these, you know, the docuseries? Well, I've got somebody uh, moving on. Somebody uh, moving on. I think one of them's told, uh, well, I've got uh, been offered another job, so I'm off. Okay, so I'm getting I'm off. How did they uh, feel? Well, I think it was to do with their, their children uh, as well. I just get... Goodbye, goodbye. There's something wrong here where the children are concerned. I'm hesitating uh, as well. Uh, you know, the, the staff have learned uh, uh, a lot how to apologise in uh, Megan's 15 different ways. Um, you know, they, they worked hard on it. They did work hard on it. I have to give them that. But, you know, I don't see that there's uh, more, more leaving, more leaving. But... It's the staff. Something to do with uh, Archie. Archie learning, Archie learning, Archie learning, Archie learning. You know, she might bring something like that out, you know, Archie learning. Okay, so we're going to stop there. Uh, that was the curtsy and I'll come back uh, to uh, another reading very, very soon. Okay, <laughs> bye now. Bye-bye.